few weeks ago, we got this car painted for $1,600 at Mako. It turned out decent, but it wasn't the best. Today, we're gonna find out how good we can make it. And after a short drive across Atlanta, we had arrived at the place that was going to help us unmako the Eclipse. Welcome to Details Product and Services. We have the Mitsubishi Eclipse here today. We do all shine supply. We're the only one in Atlanta that does shine supply. We do detailing out of the back, so wet sanding, ceramic coating, your basic washes and maintenance packages. You can always check us out at Details Products on Instagram and same name on Facebook. Now there was a long process ahead of us to get this paint looking as good as it possibly can. But the first step, was to give it a nice wash and pull it into the shop with the good lighting to get a closer look at what we were working with. The car is clean. We're gonna go ahead and pull it into the shop, get a closer look at all the uh, imperfections that we're gonna try to fix. Looks perfect on camera, but. Yeah, on camera it's not bad. But then like, like you pointed out in the earlier video, that one's gotta come out. Yeah, you can kind of see the pitting in the Lighting. This lighting does a good job at showing the imperfections, that is true. Yeah, it's ter oh, terrible wow. in that man. way. That's pretty bad. It's like <laughs> the entire hood. Mm -hmm. It really is the entire hood. Oh man, this is like a hundred percent worse. Or maybe it's just this lighting that I'm suddenly seeing all these new imperfections. <laughs> it's, it's rough being in the garage because this pulls out a lot of what you're not seeing and we haven't pulled out the big lights yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird how every panel is different. Yeah. Now we're gonna fix all of these imperfections through a process called wet sanding and buffing. We have our smooth metal, which in this car's case isn't smooth, <clears throat> let's pretend it is, our base coat and our clear coat. Now for whatever reason, when Mako painted the car, the paint didn't lay smoothly. Whether they didn't apply it right, maybe they didn't wait long enough for each coat to dry, maybe they didn't clean the car well enough, maybe they didn't sand the car well enough. There are a whole bunch of reasons for why the paint doesn't come out smoothly. In order to fix that, we literally take sandpaper to the top layer of clear coat, cut out the dips, the orange peel, the imperfections, get it nice and smooth, and then come back and polish it to make it shiny again. The issue is if there was a bunch of clear coat, you could theoretically fix everything, but with a cheap paint job, you don't know how much clear coat there is. Yeah, you really don't know. Hypothetically, Mako put on at least two to three. Most aftermarket paint jobs are generally better than most stock paint jobs anyway. I did I did hear that. It's, they're thicker, right? Mm -hmm. So you have a little bit more to work with. Anytime you're wet sanding, though, you always have to be careful. I mean, it's... Yeah. So we'll start. We obviously looked at the paint. Moving on from there, we're going to go ahead and decontaminate with a clay bar. Uh, this is called Nano Skin Pad. Uh, it's like a clay bar, but on a buffer. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull it out, being that it was sitting outside. There's sap and all sorts of stuff in it. Yeah, for like less than a week. It's ridiculous. It's already started to stain some of the paint. So we're gonna pull that out, and we're gonna go ahead and start to find those real big areas that we need to wet sand, and we'll go from there. Looks like most of this is pretty deep, so we're gonna start with 1500. There's a couple panels we can do with a 2000 grit and just pull it out.
look at the light. Not only can you see the orange peel, but you can also see all of the, uh, the pitting. Now you come over here and it's just, it's perfectly smooth. Like the line, you can see each individual LED. Crazy! It's like a mirror, look at it. Ah, hello. Some of the deeper imperfections and flaws, uh, we obviously couldn't get out just because it's so deep and there's not enough clear coat. But all that little pitting and all the other little stuff, totally gone. The orange peel, pretty much totally gone. You compare that to like this fender, which has, I mean, you can totally see it in that light. All that pitting, it is a astronomical difference. That about wraps it up for day one. Let day two begin. Today I'm being somewhat helpful. He's going over the car with 1500 grit or 1000 grit for some of the worst parts. And then I'm following it up with 2000 and then 3000. That way I help, but I don't run the risk of ruining the clear coat. <laughs> we already have the passenger side fender and the door done. He's working on the quarter panel right now. As you can tell, it's nice and smooth, no orange peel, no pitting. All that was successfully removed. There are still some really deep spots just from a lack of bodywork on Mako's side. We did all the panels that were large and flat. You know, we didn't do like some of these smaller parts. Now is the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and buff and polish the entire car so we get it back to being nice and shiny red. Is polishing your favorite part, buffing polishing? Polishing is always the best part. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm also going to attempt to help with the buffing and polishing, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is the stuff we're using. You don't need a ton of compound. Okay. So anytime. 
Two little dabs. Just the two dots. You don't have to spread it out. Four, four, -ish. four is generally a good starting point. Anytime you want to work about a section about this. So it's all about the S. So you go up, back down, again, and follow it this way. Okay. And then go backwards. Okay. And by the time you're done with that, it should come out pretty close to it. Cool. And then anytime you just let off it, just take it off the car. Okay. And that way it doesn't burn it. I see. Yeah, that looks decent. We're finally done buffing the car. Obviously it is very dusty from all the buffing compound. So we're giving it a little detail, then we're gonna coat it with something to protect it until it's been enough time to ceramic coat it. But uh, once we detail it, then we'll show you guys some good shots. So that's pretty much it. At this point, the paint is pretty much damn perfect. All of the imperfections from Mako, the orange peel, the pitting, the solvent pop, and even the fish eyes, they're all gone. Of course, some of the bigger imperfections, the, the bigger fish eyes and the dents and dings and stuff like that, they're still there. But the paint itself, it quite frankly, it looks like OEM paint and that is a huge accomplishment. The only bad thing about this process is that now that the paint is smooth, glossy, you can really tell all of the, the imperfections with the body. At the end of the day, it still is way better than having paint that just looks textured. You know, this looks like a car with OEM paint that's, you know, has 200,000 miles on it, but it's been kept really nicely. And so that is a huge mission accomplished. So can you fix a $1,600 Mako paint job? Absolutely, yes. I gotta give Detailers Products yet again a huge thank you. They obviously did an amazing job on the Eclipse. If you guys need any detailing products, check them out. They've got everything, basic stuff like microfibers or even like ceramic coat and stuff like that. And if you use my code, Gingium10 at checkout, you guys can get 10% off the entire store. There are two other issues that I know you guys are gonna comment about. Number one, all the black trim is well, it's not black anymore. And number two, the overspray in the front bumper. Um, 
that's pretty bad. Both of those things will be fixed soon, but tomorrow, actually later today, I'm driving to South Carolina to pick up a transmission for this thing. We're finally gonna be able to bang gears without crunching. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, please go to my Patreon. You'll get early access to all the videos and access to a bunch of other exclusive stuff. Other than that, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, bye-bye. Like all the little dots, oh, yeah, where it's so much better. But then there's spots where like, right here. You could do it more, but you don't want it to do too much.